Moving on now, Anthony Albanese is, has been sworn in as Australia's new Prime Minister. He's promised a journey of change. He's vowed to tackle issues like climate change, rising living costs and inequality. Australia's Labour Party returns to power after nine years. But votes are still being counted, so the scope of the new Prime Minister's victory remains unclear. Albanese. Despite not knowing whether he will form a majority or govern with the support of the coalition, Anthony Albanese was sworn in so he could attend the key meeting of the Quad Security Grouping in Tokyo. Four other key cabinet members were also sworn in with him, including new Foreign Minister Penny Wong, who will travel with him to Japan. Richard Miles was also sworn in as Employment Minister and will be Albanese's Deputy Prime Minister. Jim Sharmas became the new Treasurer, while Katie Gallagher is new Finance Minister. I am incredibly honoured and humbled to have been sworn in as Australia's 31st Prime Minister. Australians have voted for change and my government intends to implement that change in an orderly way. Now, US President Joe Biden rang Albanese to congratulate him on his win. Speaking at the press conference, the new Prime Minister said that the United States is Australia's most important partner in the region. I received a, a phone call uh, last night and had a very fruitful and positive conversation uh, renewing my acquaintance with President Biden. Uh, the relationship with the United States is our most important, along with our relationships in the region and our multilateral commitments as well. Now, the centre-left Labour still remains four seats short of a majority of 76 in the 151-seat lower house. About a dozen races are too close to call, according to Australian media. Official results could still be several days away, with the counting of a record 2.7 million postal votes still underway. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.